by Eastern Suburbs players Ruby Nathan here from Eastern Suburbs Coaching on Demand. In today's session, I'm going to be teaching you a fun game called Jungle. To set up this fun game, I've used four yellow cones. I know it doesn't look like a jungle yet, but it will soon once you add in additional cones or objects to make trees. This game focuses on close control and speed with the ball. I'm going to show you how to start now. Okay guys, to get started, you're going to start with the ball on the ground and you're going to be dribbling inside the square. This is the area that you want to stay inside. For this variation, you're practicing keeping the ball close to you and your eyes up so you know where the ball is. Once you feel comfortable dribbling with the ball at your feet, you can move on to the next variation. In all of these variations, practice both feet so you can get good at both feet when dribbling. Okay guys, we're moving on to the next variation now. In this variation, you're adding some cones which act as trees. Your aim is to make it round these trees without touching one of the cones. If you touch a cone, you're going to have to do a ball mastery move which I'll show you next. So now we'll get started. So, ball on the ground and you're going to move around the square without touching the trees. If you happen to touch a cone, you're going to do a ball mastery move. So start off by doing six soul taps. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then resume your dribbling around the jungle. another cone you're going to move on to toe taps. Same thing as the soul taps you do six and then carry on. Your aim is to not touch trees then you won't be doing the ball marching combos and you're practicing your dribbling round the cones. Okay guys I'm going to show you an example of what you can do to make it more challenging. You can make the cones more closer together so that it's harder when you're dribbling round them because you've got to keep the ball closer to you. I'm going to give you an example doing the same variation I just did, but with the trees closer together. Again, if you touch a cone, you repeat the process we did before and you'll do six soul taps. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, then carry on. If you touch your cone again, repeat the same process like I said. Once you feel comfortable with that variation, you can try the next one. Okay guys, in this next variation, you're going to be doing the same things you did before. You're going to be dribbling around the cones. If you touch a tree, don't worry, you're going to repeat the ball mastery skills you were doing before. But you can grab a parent or sibling who's going to give you commands. They could call stop, turn, or speed. So stop means you put your foot on top of the ball where you are, wait a few seconds, then resume your dribbling. If they say speed, you're gonna go as fast as you can for three or two seconds, then slow right down to your pace you were at before. And then turn is just changing direction and going the other way. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of this now. Speed. Stop. Turn. Stop. Speed. Turn. Stop. Speed. Stop. Okay guys, so you just saw me do a demonstration of that and this is really fun to play. You can make your own variations to change up anything you want and have fun with this game. And stay tuned for more Eastern Solos content that will be coming to you soon.